You know who made a campaign stop on the Joe Rogan podcast Friday night. And with all the issues Americans are going to be voting on, you know where they started the interview? Take a look. It was the episode of you when you're on The View. And I think it was 2015 or 2006, like when you were running for president. Right. OK, let's stop there. <laughs> There's a lot of fake news coming up, so we're going to clear some of it up as it happens. He was actually, in that clip, is 2011, four years before he announced he was running. OK? That's the first thing they got wrong. Next. <laughs> you got introduced as our friend Donald Trump. That's right. Whoopi Goldberg gives you a big hug and a kiss. Joy Behar gives you a big hug. Barbara Walters gives you a big hug. They all loved you. <laughs> so <laughs> here's the actual appearance. Watch. Donald Trump is a billionaire, a real estate mogul, and a television star. <laughs> but does he really want to add president of the United States to his resume? A lot of people would like him to. Please, let's find out, and please welcome my friend, Donald Trump. <laughs> So, Barbara was her usual polite self, as she was with every guest. But did I look <laughs> warm and fuzzy? Was that a warm and fuzzy welcome from me? <laughs> But because I respect Barbara, you know, she said be polite to the guests no matter yes. what. And I and and for the most part, I got through. I did it like I do now. <laughs> but here's where they really messed up. Watch. They're talking about you in such a favorable yeah. light. Honey, Joe, I think you missed this part. Take a look. I want him to show his Why? birth certificate. Why? There's something okay, on that birth not, certificate that he doesn't like. Oh, my oh, God. That's a terrible that is thing just to say. Whoopi, I'm telling you. Donnie, I love you. Donna, I'm telling you. I love you, too. I think that's, 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 that's the biggest pile of dog mess I've heard in ages. But the question is, there's something on his birth certificate he doesn't want to show. It's not because he's black. Let him show has nothing to do with it. By the way, how's that the way any white president asks to be shown the birth certificate? You become a president of the United States of America. Okay, let's you know be. that he's Let American. I'm saying that's BS. <laughs> Look, this show has has allowed all kinds of people to come mm -hmm. on. People we agree with, people we don't agree with. I've not been a fan of this man's. I don't like how he talks to us. I don't like how he talks to the nation. Mm -hmm. So I have not uh, really had much to say until he started running for president. Mm -hmm. Then I could say everything I needed to say. My face said everything. That I was did. a good yeah. side <laughs> eye. Didn't My you face... say you disliked him from from even before <laughs> the, even before that when you from... first had an encounter with him? Well, I just I, yeah. he's been in New York yes. forever. He's a, a, a New York person and, and, and been a New York character. But that being a character on television mm -hmm. is a lot different than being the president of the United States. Because what you can't do, and what they did for years, which is why people got up and said, you can't talk to me like this anymore. You can't talk about me like this anymore. And people said, oh, that you're, you're woke. We have never been asleep. No one's ever let us sleep. Can, because can we've had to keep... I'm sorry, baby. 
because we've had to keep reminding right. people that women don't want to be spoken down to. Gay folks don't want to be spoken down to. Straight folks don't want to be spoken to. People don't want to be spoken down to. They don't want to be made fun of. Get a better gig. If you're, if you're a comic, be funnier. Find a different <laughs> way smart. than to come after people because of their heritage, which they are born into. It is not a choice. You are who you are. Right. And here you want to make all kind of fun. People said no more. We're tired of that. That's why people are saying, right, that you heard the women say, listen, what we heard at that rally should be enough to shake folks awake. Because he's talking about <laughs> you. All of you. Yeah. All he's of you. He's talking about you. It's us. He's not gonna be, he's not gonna, you know, say, oh, you're with a white guy, I'm gonna keep you from being deported. No, he's gonna deport you and put the white guy with someone else. The man is out there. He's also, can I just mention, I yeah. usually don't respond to him when he comes after me, it feels like punching down, but he keeps lying about me and I do wanna correct this. He do. keeps referring to, I wrote him secret love letters of some sort. I don't write love letters Alyssa. to dictators or aspiring dictators like Donald Trump did yeah. to Kim Jong-un. The only letter I ever wrote him was a public resignation letter that was directed toward the Trump administration speaking about my time. Otherwise, CNN fact checked, he lied about my title and any other things. He's clearly very focused on this show because we keep calling him well, out and we're gonna keep him. doing it. He yeah. said in that clip, um, every president provides their birth certificate. No no, they no, don't, they but do you know what they do provide? They provide medical their taxes records. and their medical records. Mm -hmm. And, he has and that is something that he lost track of. And you know, Barack Obama says about him all the time, he's just this crybaby with this complex of victimhood, right? Here he is, this billionaire, supposedly this, 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 that. All he does is bitch and moan and complain and whine and nag. That's Dude, they call that... he's a very small man. Mm -hmm. He's a very small well, man. Well, fortunately, I don't know how small he is, but I know he's not big enough to be president. Yes. Well, <laughs> well look, making fun of him is punching down now because it's just too easy, you know? <laughs> so this is not our focus. Mm -hmm. Our focus is making sure we get the right person in the right job mm -hmm. to lead the country out of this malaise that we're all in. Everybody's pissed and exhausted. all the time. People are just, they're walking down the street and you can see it and you know people don't understand why they're feeling like this because they're not, that's not them. In part, it's what we've been dealing, we're, well, they call it trauma. Yeah. We've been in trauma. For years. For years now. And I'm hoping that with this next election, we will have a breather and get back to the people's business. That's what I want. <laughs>